Got it. Blessed be the barrel grip. All right, guys, today, Man Cave Tools, we are going to do a versus video between the Hilti Neuron Impact Driver versus the Milwaukee Fuel Impact Driver. We will be using an 8 amp hour high output battery on the Milwaukee. Battery is full. We will be using the 8 amp hour Neuron battery with on the Hilti. The battery is full as well. Let's look at the specs and get to it. Milwaukee with an 8 amp hour high output battery weighs 4 pounds and 10 ounces. And the Hilti Neuron with an 8 amp hour battery weighs 5 pounds and 2.0 ounces. All right, so one more time. Battery is full on the Milwaukee and battery is full on the Hilti. We are going to do the Milwaukee first. And just so you know, both of these tools are very back heavy when it comes to having this big of a battery. It's a, it is a major inconvenience for both tools. A little balancing act. Time. All right, next let's do Hilti. Both of these tools are very bad at being back heavy with these batteries. Yeah. Time. I can tell Milwaukee got that one. Right, let's take Milwaukee's out. Time. Let's take Hilti's out, and I am not having an issue with this collet at all. Time. All right, we do that to warm the tools up, so yeah. Let's do a quarter inch by six inch uh, lag. We'll do them both right here. Play a little balancing act with this one. Got it. Time. All right, now let's do the Neuron. That right there is good. Time. Right, let's take Milwaukee's out. Oh, my bad on that. And it was pretty much done. This might be Ryobi. Don't buy Ryobi bits, you guys. Ryobi bits are garbage. Look at that. Yeah, do not buy Ryobi bits. They are garbage. Well, I just got to do one more with this, then I'm throwing it away. Time. This might be a pain in the butt to get out. Nope. Yeah, don't buy Ryobi bits, you guys. Ryobi bits are garbage. And the messed up part is it's the exact same price as Milwaukee, Makita, DeWalt, or any other brand. It's pretty much, it's the same price. All right, so let's switch logs and increase the difficulty, shall we? Let's do the Milwaukee first. We're gonna do a four, six, and eight inch lag each. And let's see how well these do. And the reason why we're doing eight inch, because that is the max depth that this can go in this log. Anything else beyond that is pretty much gonna just go through. Time. That's time. Hilti is next. That is time. Let's take Milwaukee's out. Time. No problem for that. Take Hilti's out. No problem with that. Right, next, let's do a six inch lag. Do these over here. Stopped. So this is a tough area. I'm thinking about redoing that. Thinking about redoing that and going to a different area. This is a tough area. This is probably good for an impact wrench right here. So yeah, I'm gonna take that out with an impact wrench so I don't drain the battery anymore. Like I say in my videos, I use whatever's near me. I have a one, a, an old 1.5 amp hour battery. Let's see if this can do it. Time. Like I said, batteries will completely change the way your tools per your tool performs. 
I'm surprised it did it at all. What it actually did it, but did it pretty slow in my opinion. Let's redo that. Let's try that again. Try to go straight. A little bit more. Time. All right, next let's do Hilti. All right, a little bit more. We're gonna give that just uh, give that a few second break. Let's continue. Not quite there just yet. About an eighth of an inch. All right, but well, let's see if Milwaukee could finish it. Yes, it did. E immediately, actually. Now let's take Milwaukee's out. Time. Let's take Hilti's out. Time. All right, then let's do an eight inch lag. Keeps cutting out. I don't know why. See my finger. My uh, this is the second time it actually did that. And my uh, triggers uh, still pulled. I'm not sure why. That's the second time it did that. Let's continue. Yeah. See, it keeps doing that. Trigger still pulled. All right, it keeps cutting out, so I'm not gonna continue to do that because it keeps on, I'm not sure what's happening. All right, so there is an inch left from the Milwaukee. This is a tough piece of wood, you guys. This really is. This is a tough piece of wood. All right, so let's do Hilties over here. Technically, it has like an eighth of an inch left. A little bit more to go. So let's give that a break for a second and let's uh, finish it up. All right, it finished it. All right, now let's see if the Hilti can finish uh, the Milwaukee's. A little bit more. And the Hilti did not finish it. It has like about a quarter of an inch left. It has about a quarter of an inch left on this side. So the Hilti did finish its lag. It, it continued with Milwaukee's lag. But yeah, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why that the Milwaukee was cutting out like that. That it must be just a safety feature going on and off. I'm not sure. So I still got the Ryobi. No problem. Oh, a little bit too far. There we go. There we go. Not bad for an old 1.5 amp hour battery. This is a powerful impact wrench, you guys. Actually, we need we need to reverse this one a little bit. That's good. All right, let's take out Milwaukee's. Time. That is a very powerful impact driver. It is. Let's take out Hilties. Ah. 
time. Right, let's do a quick temperature reading. Go up a little bit. All right, so we have 117, 116, 125, or it was 126. 126, the Milwaukee got. 100, whoa. Hilti is a little bit hotter. 145. Hilti got 145. So the Milwaukee actually ran a little bit, little bit cooler. Next, we, we are going to do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. We are going to do a, uh, three holes each, and we're going to actually add them up together. Then we're going to do one more hole each and just have it, but have that by itself. So the battery is still full on the 8 amp hour for the Milwaukee. It's on speed three. It is a quick insert collar, by the way. And remember, wear safety glasses, you guys, if you do this, because these this will ricochet right into your eyes. It'll shower your entire face like sparklers. All right. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Um, the Milwaukee has bit issues as well. It releases bits like that. It does. Didn't release the bit that time. Then do a hole by itself that we're going to time against the Hilties. Yeah. All right, next let's do Hilti. Battery's still full. Let's do a temperature reading on the Milwaukee. 127, 117, 123. Yep, the housing is the hottest, 127 degrees on the Milwaukee. That's one. Two. and did not release the bit and it came out easily all right so on the Hilti 89 114 131 136 140 128 I saw 140 where is it 144 degrees the Hilti got 144 all right, guys, so as you can see from these results that both of these are very powerful tools. Now, the one thing that sort of separates Hilti from most other brands is that Hilti doesn't really sell this in like Home Depot or at Lowe's or whatnot. They really don't have like a partner store that, that helps sell them. Like you can get this online at the Hilti and Home Depot website. So since Hilti is a part of Home Depot's online store, Hilti should have a footprint in the store itself, you know, like, and have deals to go along with it. Now, both of these are very powerful tools, but most people are going to go for the Milwaukee because Milwaukee has deals. Right now, they're having a deal. You get two batteries and you get a free tool with that, you know, and for 300 bucks. You know, if Hilti did the same thing, Hilti would be a popular brand as well, but... When it comes to Hilti's kits, you pay full price for everything. Like the more you add to your cart, it doesn't really do discounts. You know, you pay full price for each individual thing. I already did a video on this. Even if you did the same thing for Ryobi, 
a Ryobi drill and a Ryobi hammer drill and impact driver kit with two battery charger in a bag would be about $500. And so the tool deals is what makes a tool lovable by the customer, especially if they get a good deal on it, the customer or contractor or whoever's using the tool would be even more prouder that they got a good tool at a darn good price. Unfortunately, when it comes to Hilti, they really don't have something that will fix that right now. They really need to do tool sales for Hilti. You guys do, you really do, because this is an expensive kit. If you get the, like, it's expensive. You know, so is this, but a lot of people buy the deals and so they get a good amount of tools and batteries for a low price for good quality stuff. Milwaukee is a very good quality and powerful brand, but so is Hilti. But the problem is, is Hilti is expensive and they don't have deals and you can't go to like a store that's like 20 minutes or less away unless you live around the Hilti store to do that. But I wanted to do this versus video. This is round two. And yeah, I do not know the test results until I edit the video, but yeah, I can tell that there are some stuff that Hilti won and there's some stuff Hilti lost and the same thing with Milwaukee. Milwaukee won some, Milwaukee lost some. You know, that's how it is. That's the reality of this. So I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. So please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.